Hey guys, it's Ultimate Gaming Squad. In this video, I'm going to be doing the Color Rush Challenge against the Cowboys on All Madden. By doing this challenge, I will get an 85 overall Terrence Williams. Hope you enjoy. Jacksonville as they get ready to go. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you join the run pass mix and everything's working. That means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. Try to continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance time to find out? Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Charles Clay, his second touchdown of the night. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And you know, you and I praise tight ends in today's game a lot for being just like a bigger body wide receiver for a play that long from that position. You just didn't used to see that as much. No, you were really just counting on the tight end position to catch the football and get what they got on the catch. And now it's the run after the catch that makes them so dangerous. Hard to bring those big guys down when they get rolling. Couldn't bring him down here. Got in the end zone. <laughs> and a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. chance to catch their breath and now they're back out and ready. So they are going to call on Dan Bailey here. His career long is 56 yards done in Seattle. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59 yard attempt. goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession then we're into sudden death first team to score wins the game and out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go and they got the stop last time, or at least the missed field goal that they were able to force. And in this tie game, that's obviously critical at this juncture. And it's become apparent that this game may come down to a foot. Someone's foot putting the ball through the post. And as you noted, kept them from doing it the last time out. 
Can they continue to do so? And hopefully then they can get their own offense cranked up and put the ball in the end zone. They begin to drive with Morris. And he's able to fall forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace Let's him. Go. 180. <laughs> First throw in overtime for Romo. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But in that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Romo on third down. He's got his man. It's Williams. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you don't lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can run for it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that. But he's taken down, but now the ball gets us into enemy territory across the 40. Dance class, anyone? Did you see the steps between the quarterback and the running back? You need for a good play? counter. You have to have it because you're setting up your blocking. There's a timing element as well. They have to marry up their steps. Otherwise, that timing gets thrown out the window. The timing was great there on a big run. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. They tried to run the counter, just that the defense wasn't fooled. And when they're not fooled, you see the end result because what you're doing there, you mentioned the counter. You're using your offensive lineman sometimes to pull or move to influence the defensive front to go in that direction and create the space back in the other side and block it appropriately. But you're exactly right. Didn't move him, except they're waiting for him and made the play. Third and long here, it's Romo. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Third down is the down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning. And this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it, but they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. Excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Part one is done, now part two. Charles Clay is tied in the intended target, and that'll make it second and ten. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays, but when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Yeah, and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Wilson on first down. Man over the right side, it's the tight end play. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he slings one that's incomplete. Trying to go back to Clay that time. And that'll make it second and ten. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's brought down after a good game. Time on the catch and run. 38 yards. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Wilson will throw again. His pass caught at the four. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT.
Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. So now one of the big... Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. So that will be their third and final in this overtime session. And as they talk it over, we take a break. We'll be right back. All right, so after completing this challenge, I will receive an 85 overall Terrence Williams. Let's take a look at the stats. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Follow me on social media. And once again, thanks for watching.